Claire's parents appealed to viewers. I don't think I could live with myself knowing what that person's done. And maybe he was capable of doing it again. Oh, Teller, that must be your fear. This guy's going to do it again. Yes, it is. This was a we had a fantastic public response to that. But what it didn't give was that eyewitness or that key bit of evidence that was required. There was no forensic evidence. There was no witnesses to the actual attack itself. And eventually the, the, the trail went cold. I can just remember the um, heavy and sick feeling inside, feeling sick at the sort of the pain or the, the level of fear that she would have felt. You always think that something like that would happen to somebody else, not somebody close to you. And I remember feeling, how can the world carry on? How can all these people around me be going to school and work? And, and Claire's not doing that. This would have been a really frustrating time for the, for the officers involved in the case. The investigation continued and it needed more. Ash Smith's parents stood by their son. Neither myself, my husband Aubrey Ash Smith, or my son Colin Ash Smith had any involvement at all with the murder of Claire Tilton. But in 1997, his father was found guilty of perverting the course of justice after admitting that he disposed of a knife belonging to his son. Prosecutors said this had hampered the investigation into Claire's murder. Obviously, uh, quite pleased, but obviously I still want the person that still Claire. Why then I'll be, be happy. Why have you come every day? Why have you... I'll certainly not comment on that, thank you. Claire's parents always fought to secure justice for their daughter. But in 2008, Linda passed away, aged just 56. And in 2012, Cliff made a final appeal from his nursing home. I mean everything, you know. It would mean everything. Um, never given up hope. Never, never have done, never will do. He died a few months later. <laughs>